Hey everybody, William Video Brown coming at you from the lab space slash kitchen area that I'm using here. And uh, today we're going to uh, do our liquid culture. So I'm going to show you how I do liquid cultures. Everybody does liquid cultures a little bit different, um, but I like my liquid cultures to come out semi clear, um, but still be able to feed the mushrooms enough for them to live in the jar before I expand them out into something else. So uh, all the ingredients I have here today, we got some spring water. We've got a little bit of coconut water, and we've got some liquid organic cane sugar. Um, so we're going to be doing pint-sized jars today. I got one regular mouth, two wide mouth. Um, typically I'm doing quart-sized jars, but you can just expand out this uh, recipe that I'm going to give you and it'll work just fine. Um, so as far as the lids go, uh, we have these lids with a little bit of RTV high temperature silicone on one end and we also have another hole that has some micropore tape which you can uh, get at Rite Aid or CVS or anything like that. So we have this micropore tape and I really like the micropore tape uh, versus like some polyfill or something like that because the micropore tape um, doesn't get as wet and you really don't want the top to get all wet and have any potential for contamination. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all uh, ready and set up for you guys. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this liquid cane sugar in there. I'm going to do one tablespoon per pint. Put that in there. Um, I used to use corn syrup and that works really good. Um, but as long as you're using a tablespoon per pint with this liquid sugar, um, you're going to get a nice uh, clear liquid culture. So one tablespoon per pint. There we go. Put that in the sink there. And then the next ingredient, and this is only two ingredients, or three, um, it's very, very simple, is some coconut water. So this coconut water adds additional nutrients, um, additional calories, uh, other things for the mushrooms to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and put a quarter cup of this coconut water in there. And you can just use whatever cheap coconut water. If you want to go organic, then go organic. Um, just try and make sure that it doesn't have anything in there. You don't want any chunks in there. You don't want any additional ingredients. Um, so lastly, I'm just going to add this spring water. And I like to use spring water over distilled water because spring water has some trace minerals, trace nutrients in it. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. But I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top. I'm going to stop um, like maybe a quarter, half inch from the top because whenever I swish it around, once it has the... Uh, mycelium in there, I don't want it splashing around on the top. So as far as liquid cultures go, I typically like to use these uh, regular mouth jars because they have this kind of curve that can help block the uh, liquid whenever you're swishing it from touching the top. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and put the lids on and then we're going to put these in the pressure cooker at 10 PSI for 30 minutes and that's all we really need to sterilize our liquids. We don't want the sugars in there to caramelize at all. Um, just mix it up and make sure everything gets all stirred around. Um, but as I was saying, you don't want the you don't want the pressure to get too high, and you don't want to run it too long because then it'll caramelize and you'll end up with a darker liquid culture. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, this is William Video Brown with Microsymbiotics. Um, I hope that you all can check out some of our awesome new products that we have in collaboration with Cognitive Function. Um, so we have things like this Brain Lube, we have uh, Cordyceps Ghee, we have Cordyceps Flame Cider, and we also have a uh, Cordyceps Chocolate Cold Brew, uh, as well as our tinctures, dried Cordyceps, and all the other products. Uh, you can check out through the links below. Uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, turn on push notifications, and always propagate and mycelium.